Well, I'd like to show you something kind of cool about uh, pre-selecting your video clips for editing purposes without having to open up Adobe Premiere software or Adobe Prelude. Now, I don't know if this is going to be convenient for everybody, but it is, I think, for me, it bypasses the need to open up the software and wait for long periods of time. So I am going to go ahead and show you what I've learned. I have these raw video clips, which as you can see, are given these pretty nondescript uh, file names. They mean, they're meaningless, actually. Uh, and they're taken from an SD card, uh, which was used in the shooting of the aftermath of a tornado in Coal City, uh, Illinois. This was back in June of 2015. So I am just going to select a video clip here. And you may know that if you hit the space bar, you'll open the clip in preview. And you can see that it shows in preview. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to choose this little icon up here, which looks like a film clip, film strip rather. In fact, that's what it is. It is a, you know, it's a time lapse. And notice that it's got trim handles. So you can move it one way or you can move the end the other way. In other words, you can figure out where you want to park and end a point for a, a sample piece of video. And then when you click Done, you can save it as a new clip. And in this case, I'm going to choose a new folder called Selects. And I'm going to name it Exterior Cleanup Effort, or just Cleanup. And I'm going to click Save. And that is going to be the first of many clips. You may, you will also uh, find it useful to know that if you hit the down arrow, it'll go to the next clip. And so with this next clip, I'm going to again choose the timeline. And I'm going to choose where I want to uh, put the uh, playhead. I might want to show the bus turning, for instance, onto a street. So, And then uh, lose the rest of it. So let me go ahead and grab the trim handle over here. And now I'll play it from start to finish. All right, so I am going to click Done on this. And when I save it as a new clip, you'll notice that it goes into that Selects folder I chose. So I'm going to go Interior, Bus, Turning. And now I can go down the line. That's an interesting shot of a house that's been damaged pretty thoroughly. So it looks like a long shot with a zoom. So I'm going to go ahead and save them both together. I can always cut them up later if I want to save one or the other. And this is a 10 second clip. So I'm going to choose done, new clip again, and exterior damaged house. All right. So once I have built up these video clips and put them into the select folder, now I've got the clips trimmed to a convenient length with preferably enough handles on either side for ed editing purposes that I can now just import that selects folder into Adobe Premiere. And a lot of the pre-editing is done for me. Not only that, I can select the number of clips that I have created, hit the copy command, and then open up Excel, if I can. There it is. Just go into the cell and choose Paste. I'll just do Edit, Paste. And now I can go ahead and I have the beginnings of an edit decision list, where I can put in some comments and maybe a few other things, maybe the length. Um, but I have an edit decision list that I can use to help guide the uh, editing process with an appropriate editing script, or if I want to do it on the fly, I can do it on the fly, or for a news package or anything else. So um, I did all this with, uh, no, I don't want to say this. So I have done all this with the Macintosh's native navigation controls and uh, video preview and trimming without having to open up Adobe Premiere. Take what you need and leave the rest.